All right, the director of the film publicly has said that he changed the original screenplay to amplify the environmental themes. And that, quote, you can't tell a story about Antarctica and the penguins without giving that dimension. Call me crazy, but yes, you can. And if you're going to include those themes, least you could do is tell me a parrot. Tell me about it first, okay, so I know I'm walking in to propaganda. But with Happy Feet, Feet, no, they just couldn't, they couldn't shoehorn that into the marketing. That'd be too tough. I wonder if it's because they knew that people, uh, you know, wouldn't go see it or not as many. They may not pull in $42 million if people thought they'd be watching an animated version of an inconvenient truth. Maybe I'm in the minority, and I probably am. But you know what? I'd like to teach my children how to think for themselves about the issues, including global warming and the environment, instead of having them indoctrinated by some Hollywood director. I don't have a problem with, with hunters, but I, I don't mind that Bambi <laughs> decided to uh, uh, have a hunter shoot, uh, shoot their mom. Of the 50,000 things affecting America's youth in negative ways today, yeah. I, I don't think the Penguin movie is right. probably on that 50,000. I don't tell think you. this story is going to get you a Peabody. Right. Well, those cute little penguins in Happy Feet winning at the box office, earning more than $42 million. Now, in the movie, the penguins are starving, the fish are all gone, and it's clear that humans and big business are to blame. Is Hollywood using kids' films to promote a far-left message? Entertainment critic Holly McClure says yes, and it's wrong. Holly, so you thought it was over the top. Well, I did, Neil. I tell you, first of all, I went watching this movie thinking, okay, great, a lighthearted, fun film. Love these animated pictures, and it's interesting how, the, you know, how realistic it looks. And you get in there, and you're enjoying all the fun and frivolity, and yes, it's kind of a takeoff of the Penguin documentary. And then along comes the subtle messages. And one by one, they come in. I felt like I was watching Dirty Dancing Penguin style. You know, the preaching against the tap dancing and the being liberal and stay conformed. And then it started getting into the other messages. Yes, we had that plastic ring around the guy the one with the penguins neck. Right, From right. From there it got worse. Well, you know, yeah, I, Ollie, I saw this with my uh, two little boys, and, and what I found offensive, I don't care what your stands are on the environment, is that they shoved this in a kid's movie. So you, you hear the penguins are starving, and they're starving because of mean old man, mean old companies, uh, Arctic fishing, a big taboo, and they're, they're, they're foisting this on my kids who, frankly, uh, we're more bored that it was a nearly two-hour movie, and they're kids. Well, I'm just kind of curious. Were your kids scared or kind of bothered at all by the big walrus? Because I thought there was some pretty intense scenes. Yeah, I didn't. I don't call this a, a toddler, a little kid-friendly well, movie. Well, you know, Holly, I, I think you're right. You raise a good point. But my biggest thing was, you can make a political statement all you want, adult movie and all. I just think it's a little tacky and a big-time objectionable when you start foisting it on kids who don't know any better. Well, what's even more objectionable is the fact that they present all these things about man being mean and taking the fish away and the, uh, you know, killing the uh, wildlife and fish and penguins. And then furthermore, which I don't want to ruin anything for anybody, but to see penguins in an aquarium situation. Okay, are we supposed to tell our kids then it's not right to go to San Diego SeaWorld or it's not right to go to your local zoo or it's not right to have animals where you can go observe them? Should they feel guilty then? I think the message is, yeah, we suddenly put it in there, but where does it stop? It doesn't give you solutions so are kids to feel guilty then for enjoying to see wildlife well you know, know in but, but even, environment? even more telling to me was the fact i thought it was like an animated inconvenient truth i half expected to see an animated version of al gore pop up and i must be the only one in the theater having this reaction because you know my boys are just bouncing off the wall because it's so damn long yes. but but the other issue is that uh you know you, you're this is an animated inconvenient truth that's what it was to me and Neil, did your boys enjoy all that tap dancing? I mean, if it makes tap dancing more popular with guys, okay, it has some purpose. I don't know. The tap but... dancing was cute. Robin Williams had some good zingers in there. But I mean, and that's one more the song. I, I thought it was overly done with the songs, too. I agree <laughs> with you. It's just a preaching message that could have been more fun than so political, and I think it's ruined some things for us. I thought it was too dark for little ones. Well, and I mean, I you know, preach to adults, it. Holly. I'm all, if you want to preach to adults, fine. Leave the kids yeah. out of it. It's not your role, not your Make place. Make it fun Stop for it. kids. Yeah, exactly. The penguins were cute. Holly, thank you very, very much. Thank you so much for having me on.